In this video, Joe and I are going to show you what happens when two pipes rub together. And how to prevent this problem. We see this with all kinds of water pipe, copper, PEX, CPVC. Anytime they're touching each other and rubbing together, you're gonna have a problem. We especially see this in water surfaces. When they put the backfill in, they'll put brick and rock and everything else, and it'll rub on the service line and create a hole. We have not seen this happen in galvanized water pipe, and we're gonna show you a video on why that has not happened, but we do not recommend galvanized water pipe at all. There are four pro tips to check out in the field where Joe is working, so let's get right to it. Okay, you guys, the first tip is to think ahead a little bit and try to make your system as simple as you can. I think on the way up the ladder, I counted seven 90s that were not necessary. Um, you know, you're paying for those fittings and the flux and the solder to get them together. And every time you use a fitting, you're spending your time and energy cleaning and cutting. So if you can avoid that and just think, make things super simple, um, that will be a lot better for you and your system. And we're gonna go ahead and get this epoxy off right here that the homeowner had put on. And um, we're gonna take a look at where these pipes are rubbed together and actually rub the hole in that top line. Okay, you guys, the next tip, uh, tip number two, is to try and keep all of your material and your tools and your hands as close to your body as you can for as long as you can. It just speeds things up so much. You know, it takes a lot less energy. Um, and try to use some decent, you know, tubing cutters when you're cutting copper. We like the rigid 15s. I've been using those, you know, almost 40 years. They've been making them the same way all that time. We will leave a link in the description below to those. And um, that mesh sand cloth right there is excellent. It's, you know, it doesn't ruin it as soon as you get it wet. And here's the press that we like to use. Um, I know most people are not gonna go out and go get a press, but there could be a few people watching. This is entering the trade, and I would definitely recommend to go ahead and get one of those if you're gonna you know, mess with some copper fittings. This is the lightest and the most compact one that we could find at the time. And if I didn't say, we're gonna leave a link in the description below to all of these things. Tip number three is going to be, if at all possible, if you're putting in the lines and they're dry like a brand new system where that intersects right there where the hole was that we cut out to go ahead and just tack a little solder right there and keep that from moving against each other um needless to say we can't do that with a lot of water on the lines i'm sure there's a few people that that are watching this that have tried to solder with water and um, that creates steam and blows right out of the joint. It's almost impossible to solder with water in the line unless you know a variety of little tricks. And here is tip number four, and that is to get everything really dried up as quick as you can. That way, if you find new moisture after your test, you'll know that there's a problem you have to hunt down and correct. And we're going to take a look right here at the finished product where if you look really close, you can see where I shoved a little piece of sheet rubber in between these joints to keep this from happening um, in the future for the next time. <laughs> I know you're telling me to go, but I can't remember. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. If you like this video... <laughs> If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.